Alright, so hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So, right now, I'll be uh, switching the positions of Locke and Terra because I decided that I wanted uh, Locke on the same controller slot as Strago and not Terra because Locke and Strago will just chuck an ice rod and Terra will have to morph before she throws hers. So, skills, equip, relic. So now, I should be on the character at the bottom, which is Terra. Now, an important thing to note is that it's only one button press up this time to get back to lock. This is what messed it up one of my other runs. Equip. Down. So, one, two, one, two. And that should be the back guard. Presumably equipped on lock. So, uh, oh yeah, before I get going, I should probably also organize my item inventory. Equip, skills, item. There we go. Now hopefully it's organized. One, two, to the left, and then I can go up to the top. Right and up until I make it to the burning house. So yeah, this little kid hopping around in front of the door is just going to get in my way here and prevent me from walking into some stupid situation. He'll pretty much make it really easy to line up myself up with Strago, so... Back one, down a bit, mash the button, do the menu trick, and I'm good. Should be hearing my explosion that I want any second now. There we go. Explosive's always the best thing to keep in your house. I mean, uh, you never know when uh, something horrible is going to happen, aliens are going to come, zombie apocalypse, you need those explosives, you know. I don't think they made a mistake, I think they were well prepared, just they weren't prepared for me burning down their house, that wasn't, that wasn't such a good thing of me to do. Unfortunately, uh... Rel meant to go get herself stuck inside, or else I could have just watched it burn and had some fun, but... Yeah, it looks like it's not going to go that way. Alright, spells can't withstand the power of explosives, it just doesn't work that way. Or, or rather, perhaps I should say, the power of explosives can withstand their ice spells. Unfortunately, there's some more menuing to do inside the house because Strago joins my team inside the house and not in a nice place like outside the house. So, all right. So first of all, I should already be on items, so save. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing any saving. If I do that, it resets my curse to the top position, which I'm doing just to be careful to mitigate my mistakes somewhat. I suppose if I made a mistake somewhere else but it would probably already kill me so don't know where I am um, left down to Strago back row because that's important <laughs> skills equip relic Strago equip top slot like that Well, that was nice. Heard my uh, nifty two noises there. I mean, not two noises. If I hear two noises, then I'm equipping the wrong person there. Equip. Select it. Strago. Equip. Bottom slot. Mithril vest. I could equip lock with something, but I don't really care. So yeah, let's start walking, but immediate cutscene interruption. That's in the way. And first battle out of 10 million. I failed three runs because I didn't have the back guard equipped. I think I forgot to save the third one for some reason. Third video. But 
Well, I took a hit there, so now I get the fun part of healing. I, uh, so I was on equip, so skills item save. Yep, double checking. Always a good thing to do. More feedback is always good. More news is always good news in a blindfolded run. It kind of works the opposite way of most things. Getting punched by balloons. Y you know you're in trouble when you're getting punched by your own balloons. As they're the deadliest of foes. And wow, did Terra actually need three tonics? That doesn't usually happen, but... So I've only had two encounters in this room. I'd be surprised if that didn't happen. Occasion well, that went pretty well anyway. Occasionally I can dodge one of the things in the first two rooms, but it doesn't happen often. But it is possible, not completely impossible. Side, yay. That's, in fact, I'd say preemptive slash side attacks are far more likely than outright dodging the battle by running out by side the guys and... Oh, there's a hit. Two battles in this room. So I've got two more battles to go in this room. Surprised I didn't get my battle there. Yeah, I may in fact have skipped one unless if the thing walked wandered all the way up to the top and another side attack. Nope, it did walk wander all the way to the top. Walk wander, that is now a phrase. That's now a thing you can say, guys, just in case you were wondering. Well, there's some punching. Oh, wow, Locke got hit. I think that's actually the first time Locke's been hit in any of my runs, which is kind of funny, to be honest. Alright, there we go. Inside there. Gotta walk up and right. I'll hit a wall, gotta go down once, and then gotta go more right and up. Which I suppose is not the same thing as up and right, if you want to be get technical. One battle in here. That's two battles. The third. Uh, it's likely I'll get two battles in here. The third one I might escape. Last attempt I only got two fights in here, which was pretty lucky, I must say. That is on the first trip through anyway. Second trip I think I'm more likely to... Wow, that's a lot of attacks. I didn't die though. I mean, none of my characters died. But clearly I'm not going to die. The chances of that happening are really slim. Especially with Locke being a wizard and not taking any damage. Which I suppose is more a thief thing than a wizard thing, but there's my third battle, so I guess I can just relax at this point and ignore my surroundings, besides the ones I shouldn't run into. The best way to test where burning walls are when you're blindfolded is just to run into them. That's what I always say. All the times when that comes up in conversation. There's my fire rod, but unfortunately these guys respawn when I go into the room. I'm gonna go right, because that's probably the way I should be going. I'll go, I mean left. Left, obviously. I just know I'm gonna correct that in the annotation later and then realize, oh wait, I corrected it when I spoke. So yeah, perhaps correcting it by speaking was a waste of time. More damage for Strago. Left, down, left. Now I'll go left and up. And that's battle number two. Well, I suppose this run I might just be doomed to fight every single thing on the way through. And take a hit. Well, never mind. I got a ton of preemptive strikes earlier and side attacks and stuff. 
But now they're slowing down, so... Oh, my character's still all escaped. Wow, I think this run has eaten the most tonics out of any runs thus far. Hopefully it won't eat all my tinctures and fire rod and one of my magicite too. Like the last one did, that was a total mess because I forgot to sort my item inventory, or perhaps I just did it wrong. In which case, I probably just did it wrong again. Maybe I should have double-checked why I missed that part. Maybe I'll get through with some luck. Oh, I think I opened the door at the last second there. Which actually isn't good because I'm not sure now. I suppose it doesn't matter if I'm sure or not. I've got nothing to do before the boss fight. I could theoretically, I suppose, shove a reflect ring on lock. I'm... At least I know I got all my rows right this time because... Otherwise, I'm sure characters would have been dropping left and right there. There we go, boss fight. Thanks to the bomblet delaying the turns until they're all up and the fact that Terra's at the bottom, Terra's turn should come up first, which is the most convenient possible. Alright, so... One, two, three. So presuming I did not mess anything up this time. Yes, there's that ice round that crunchy ice rod sound I need to know. One, two, three. need to know that I don't think that was the right words. All the way there. Alright, now don't go killing off characters before I can throw all my ice rods. That would be very nasty of you. This is Tara, she's the most important one. Wow, I did not scroll down far enough for safety there, I guess. But it worked, so please die, please die, please die. Yes, he's dead! That segment should not have taken as long as it did, but... Bad luck the first three times, and then... Minor detail missed the next time. And I forgot something on the last, on the fifth attempt. That was probably the dumbest one that I lost, but... I, uh, you know, I made it eventually all's well this end well. I cannot do plurals correctly today, can I? So, the house has finally completely exploded. Oh, wait. Never mind, it's still there. At least I get to watch it burn for a little while. Here comes Shadow, ready to warp me out to get a better vantage point. Yeah, funny thing, there's a game going on at my, uh, at my residence where we're uh, essentially tagging out people who don't have their safety items on them or aren't in their rooms, and somebody's actually camping out at my doorway trying to get me. <laughs> She's totally wasting her time because I'm just sitting in here doing this. <laughs> so, yeah last three attempts I she's been out there so you can just see for yourself how <laughs> this entire time you've been watching this video so yeah she's not gonna get anywhere like that there's my noises and stuff I need to know I mean here gosh dang it I did that again I said the exact same ludicrously wrong statement the second time Now we can blah 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 about the espers. Can't even see it, so... The only thing to note is that there's like a memento ring over there, so... It's a good thing to remember to pick up, considering it blocks instant death, which may come in handy like once. Just 
for some reason the Narsh theme is playing here even though I that has absolutely no relevance that I can see to this situation but I guess I'm not 100% sure what would be more relevant so I can't really complain maybe I should menu trick yeah I've probably just been sitting there mashing through the non-existent cutscene and there we go there's relevant music all the way to the left there's my free memento ring Realm will kind of come equipped with one anyway, so it's not all that important that I grab this second one. <laughs> unless I, I mean, Realm and Shadow are the only two who can equip them, so uh, unless I happen to have both, need both of them in the same party at the same time, and it, I guess it's not Brave New World, so I probably will never have that instance come up thinking more in Brave New World terms, but I can... I'm gonna be choosing whatever party I feel like for this one, and probably never contain both Realm and Shadow, of all people. So, up and left and down. Normally I'd get an indicator when I leave this room, but I guess mini-tricking after that cutscene sort of invalidates that whole shebang there. So, I have to get all the way out of his house. Oh, I'm so lazy. Did I run up once after I... It shouldn't be a bother if I didn't. Nope, I'm fine. Just being paranoid, apparently. Nice musical indicator when this cutscene is over. <coughs> and then I can just walk through the nicest and easiest town for me on this entire... on the face of this entire globe. Seriously, like, big open place in the middle. All the houses are in off-the-track places that I don't need to get to anyway. It's just so nice. Now, if only they cut short the cliff a little bit south of the item shop. That would have helped a lot earlier. Oh, yeah, and one thing to note. I forgot to grab a green cherry from a pot in the last segment. I discovered that during my Brave New World segment, and I suppose I should do it here. Yep, I can mini trick right away, straight down. This should lead me in the back of some house here, the item shop anyway. Since I don't start quite outside the door of Strago's house here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't need to remember an exact number there because this area is pretty forgiving. Now, uh, I suppose I'll just go in and grab the green cherry from this pot up to the top up right to the right you should be running into part of the item shop here down one now I go right up to run into some place there we go my useless item of the day I can just get out of here. Figured I'd do that at the end of the segment, since it's easy to not get lost in the opening section of the maze, so it would be unlikely to end my run there, but tedious to do at the start of every other run, and I'm glad I did it that way. So, see you in 18 minutes, I mean 19 minutes, that's actually uh, less time than it took me to fail the other run. I didn't even go through all the cutscenes and stuff at the So yeah, I'm just in a heap of trouble if I need to revive someone. Chances of me dodging any flames in here are practically nil. It's hard enough even when you can see, but because, well, by hard I mean luck reliant. There's no skill involved, but, oh no, this is, let me guess, a pincer attack. Yep, no one's escaped yet. Uh... for a bit. One hit. Two hit. Three hit. 
Don't tell me I'm in a pincer attack already. Yep, I think I'm dead again. If I had some smoke bombs... Oh well, this certainly isn't the worst place for a pincer attack to occur. I mean, it is five to seven minutes into a segment, but it's mostly just mashing A through a cutscene, so... Oh no. Someone died. Okay. Gotta, gotta put plan B into action here. This is Terra, which will make it easier to set things back up later. Warp Whistle should be the first item I encounter here. Oh no, don't tell me she just died. Alright, here we go. Preferably Terra's turn will come up first. Since she's at the bottom, that's also kind of li likely. Alright. Oh man, where is it? Did I scroll too far earlier? Yeah, I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. If I check the fire rod, Adam, that's just a waste, but... Yep, that was the fire rod. Wonderful. Well, now I know it's go down three for three seconds, and then I go up to the ice rod. You know, if I have Terra throw both the ice rods, both the remaining ones anyway, uh, I should still be able to make it through this fight, even if I de-equipped her earrings. I might have to take that chance because I'm really nervous that I did that. On the other hand, I could be messing myself over trying to wait for Terra's turn. But my suspicions tell me that I de equip the earrings since I'm not already dead from a back, I mean, a pincer attack. Oh, that's a block. Oh no, Terra just died. Well, change back to plan B, thanks. Or rather, perhaps back to plan A. Since you were the person who threw the fire rod, presumably This is somewhat making a mess out of what should have been a really easy segment, but please just die. Uh, he's not dead. Well, I'm probably done for. I don't even know what's going on. And this should be the lore menu, right? Oh. Oh yeah, I wasted way too much time. But, you know. Thankfully, Terra's at the bottom, which helps because it's a preemptive strike by default almost. So she'll get to morph right away, and I'll be able to menu trick with the other two. 
one, two, three. And now you get to hear, I mean, you can see the <laughs> riveting process of me trying to find my ice rods. I waited too long there, this is going to be forever. Gotta press once right to be able to, well, I suppose I could probably do it with left, but I've always done it with right before, so I better be careful not to make assumptions. What the, no, 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 don't throw my, you just throw an X potion at it. Noob. I did sort my item inventory, right? I mean, I suppose you could have uh, thrown an elixir, not that that's any better. Maybe like a... I mean, I, I bet all the stuff down there is all the really expensive crud. And by expensive I mean cheap, because they all technically cost two gil, but... Please be an ice rod? Oh, come on, why... What's going on here? I'll try going down. This isn't good because it means I have to survive more attacks. And I might be throwing away valuable consumables, but that's less likely to make a difference. I don't exactly need to have an X potion when a potion c does the same job. So let me guess, I'm going to be throwing my fire rod this time. Oh my, oh. Uh, I threw a magicite and summoned Palador. Ugh. Or maybe I'm wrong. Magicite. The magicite sounds, I don't know them all that well. At this rate, I'm going to have the bombs blow up on me. Two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully this works. I must have forgotten to sort my item inventory because my Magicite was lower on the list than everything else, all of my other items. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. Begs the question, what did I summon? Well, let's hope I'm doing damage. Well, no, I threw the fire rod. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I've only got one of those to get in my way. Ice rod, please the ice rod. Thank you. I'll probably only count to five this time. One, two, three, four, five. If if this all works out correctly, I only need to throw one more ice rod. But I don't know if that'll happen before they, the bombs go blowing up all over my face. One, two, three, four, five, 
one, two, three, four, five. This segment isn't hard conceptually, but it's just all these minor menuing details. The fact that I have to menu several times during this segment, and besides the tonics I throw, which I barely even count. Please just die. Oh, what? It didn't die? How? Well, what do you even have equipped as a weapon? Can't be anything spectacular. Just whack it, I guess. Oh, that's Strago. I have no idea how he didn't die to the ice rods. <laughs> 